Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the P10 10 watt laser. Friends, today we're going to cut some wood, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so first let's talk about the wood I'm using. This is reclaimed pallet wood. If we take a look at it real quick, you can see that it is about six millimeters thick. So that's what we're going to try and cut through. Friends, I'm going to make a test design, and let's see if we can find some good settings. So we are in light burn, and once again, I'm just going to make a tiny test shape. Today, let's get a little extra funky. I've got a rectangle. I'm going to draw a circle beside it and a circle beside it. I'm going to take those and align them how I want. If you push in your scroll wheel and drag, it will pan. And with those pieces like that, so you can see that's going to be less than a two centimeter cut. So it'll be pretty quick. So friends, with them selected, I'm going to choose tools and I'm going to choose weld shapes. So now I've got that little bit of a custom shape that we're going to cut out and it will be quite quick. So let's go over here to our cuts and layers. And my red setting is where I usually start. So I have got a speed of 400, and then I had had nine passes on my last laser. I'm gonna try this with five passes and 100% power. So friends, with that set up, let's power on the laser. I'll go down here and make sure I switch to the correct laser. There is the P10. It says it's on COM8. The laser is homing. So we've got the right one. Now let's nudge it out to where I want to cut. I'm going to really quickly arrange the cutting mat. Let's do some shift nudges to get this out into that area where I want to cut. Now I picked this area because it's pretty decent for the camera. You're going to cut wherever you want your material to be so it's most efficient. This just works for me. We do need to set our height so I'm going to flip the kickstand down. I'm going to loosen the nut in the back. And let's bring that in and let it come down to the kickstand. So there it is in place. Try and get my fat hand out of the way. Tighten that in. I want it to be a little less snug. I don't want it to be quite that snug on it. So I'm going to lift it up just a little bit. Sorry the hand stays in the way. But now even with the leg down I can move it. Let's flip the leg up. Over on the laser. I'm going to hit the fire button so that way we start to get our dots so we can see where we're tracking. I'm going to get that to the bottom left hand corner. Let's hit frame and see if it fits. That fits totally good. Of course friends it is time to grab the safety glasses and let's see if we can cut out this tiny part. everybody that was crazy quick let's see if it pushes through Ooh, doggy that is exactly what we want holy mackerel so we have got settings that are decent I'm not saying they're perfect it almost looks like we could dial that down a little bit but BAM we have just cut through six millimeter wood Friends, let's make an awesome keychain while we're at it. So let's go back here and double check. We had 405 passes and 100% power. I'm gonna open up another project of mine. This is a keychain that I put on the stairs of Mount Pisgah. All right, friends, so this is a Mount Pisgah keychain. I climb this set of stairs each day for my workout, and I like to leave one of these up here for people to find. I'm gonna real quickly do file save as, and I'm gonna save these settings for the P10. I like to try this with every laser. When we do hit save, I'm gonna make sure my settings are good. So we've got that 400, we've got five passes, and we've got 100 power. And then this little Mount Pisca design, I'm gonna do with a fill 3360. Let's go over to the laser, use the move command and get to a spot where we can cut this out. I'm gonna nudge over one click. I'm gonna make sure I come down one click. 
Let's make sure this is reasonably straight. And let's quickly hit frame to see if we like where that's going. It came up short of that hole. Looks like it's all gonna fit absolutely fine. Come once again, friends, let's down the goggles. And let's see how cool our little keychain turns out. Alrighty friends, moment of truth. Woohoo! That is buttery smooth. Oh my gosh. Love the details where it was engraved in the Mount Pisca. Cut it crisp as can be. Of course, when I'm done, I'm gonna add HL Mod Tech on the back. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Another super successful project on the P10. Friends, when you're messing with these settings, do like I did. Get a piece of scrap wood, make sure it's the same size. Test them until you're happy. I've been doing this for a little while, so I kind of knew 400 was going to be groovy. Set your passes, and then you can keep adjusting it to try and find the perfect numbers. But for about seven minutes of cutting, bam, I've got an epic keychain that I'm happy to leave at the top of Mount Pisgah. Friends, remember, if you are interested in this laser, there will be a link down below, and there are plenty more videos to come. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a